hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is ashley if you are new and if you are not new hey girl thank you for coming back so i'm um, sorry if you can hear the dishwasher going if it's kind of loud my desk is like right by where the dishwasher is but today is saturday july 8th so it's going to be a little weekend vloggy vlog so right now it is 8:59. i'm about to leave out because i have an oil change so i'm going to take my laptop and i'm going to try to do some work um, while I'm there, make sure I got some juice. I hate when they like don't be charging, but I got some juice, so I should be good. Um, but I'm gonna take my laptop. Oh, that's because I knocked it out the charger. But I'm gonna take my laptop and I'm gonna start working on getting the stuff prepped for the week. Um, like prepping my posts and stuff. So I'm gonna do that while I'm waiting on my car. But yeah, before I get going, I just wanna show y'all my lashes. If y'all watch my um, maintenance video, y'all know, this is actually the same day I'm filming it, but <laughs> these lashes are uh, from Butterfly, what is this? Uh, Butterfly Wings, Butterfly Wing Lashes. So I'm gonna leave it down below. Um, the website and all of that and these are the cashmere lashes so i got these pair and then i also got the amore lashes so these are the amore lashes super duper cute so check out my girl i'm gonna put like i said i'll put the description um the website information below and then this lip gloss is also from her this is just a clear lip gloss and i love it it's, it feels so good and it's soft i've been feeling like the handmade lip glosses be kind of feeling better than the um expensive one but yeah so i'm about to head off to the dealership and yeah so let's go Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Hey guys, so today is like, um like a week later for when I initially started this vlog. I initially started this vlog the last weekend, but then I didn't keep vlogging, so it's a new weekend. <laughs> so, hey y'all. So, um, basically, I don't know why I didn't keep vlogging, and then I didn't vlog during, during the week. Like, I've really been sucking on my vlogging game, and I have like two videos ready. Well, not ready, but two videos filmed. I just need to edit them so i'm gonna do that this weekend for sure edit those two videos finish off this video edit this video and hopefully have all that stuff like in youtube schedule so i can get back on track with um you know my twice a week uploads because i've been either only uploading once a week or not uploading at all for a week like i'm trying to get to a thousand followers so i need to get my ish together but the good news is i got a new computer well, it's not here yet, but it's on the way. You know, Apple stuff with Apple is just like so backed up. So you order something, it takes months to get here. Well, not months, but it'll be here like next month. So I got a new computer. So that should like actual Mac computer. Um, so then I should be able to um, edit better because the problem is like my, I use my laptop and it doesn't have a bunch of storage on it. So it's just like a hassle for me to try to edit these videos. And I really want to use like better softwares, but I really can't with my current laptop. Like I just don't have enough storage for all of that. So yeah, once I get my new computer, all of the editing and get better, I should be on schedule with the videos. And yeah, but for now, well, I'm gonna get on schedule with the videos before I get my new computer. Cause like I said, I won't have that until like middle of August, but I should be able to, it should be easier for me to stay on schedule once I have a new computer. Anyways, it's a lot of rambling. So yesterday was Friday. I went and I had got some, um postcards printed but let me tell you about my story so first of all i had i had it in my head all week like i'm gonna i need to i haven't had no orders this month like girl you need to forget social media because facebook has been tripping like it keeps restricting my account like 
saying for sexual nudity when I literally I post a picture about our Lexi nude bag I don't know if it's because it's, I said it was a nude bag but it's literally a purse so that's not sexual activity and you can't like fight that you just have to just deal with it so my account was restricted so i haven't been able to post on facebook all week so i'm like i can't like just be depending on these social media platforms to you know bring awareness i need to go back to the old days and get back to passing out flyers um you know like i haven't passed out flyers in a minute so i need to get back to passing out flyers and then i'll be watching my girl jessica her stories when she be passing out flyers so it'd be motivating me like girl you need to get back out there and get back to passing out flyers so i had ordered these on thursday i put in the order because y'all know with canva now you can um, they have FedEx printed so before when I used to do the flyers I would always have Canva printed and then it still didn't take long when Canva printed them for you like you made it on Canva and had it printed by Canva it would only take like a week and a half maybe like a week like it still didn't take long but I knew I wanted to do it this weekend and so now Canva has it where you can have FedEx printed and usually get it like these were like printed the same day or it says like one to three business days so you get it faster the thing is FedEx printing sucks like this is like I, I had it printed Thursday and so look at this like first of all it's missing the the and this is like a different design this is like the typical standard design well this one is messed up too but this is let me show you this is actually this is the typical standard design of what my flyers usually always look like it's usually a picture of the phone they'll scan for the website you know and then pictures of some pictures on the back so this is standard but i wanted to try something new so i made a different design which was this design and i thought this was like super cute um this is what actually the website header is and then on the back it has like you can still it has like just four pictures and then still scan for the website da, da, da. so i wanted um the new design printed but they didn't put the the they don't have my tiktok name so i'm just like what the hell like this is wrong and then for this design they did have my tiktok name and then it's just this blank space and this is usually where it says like versatile everyday styles you know basically telling like what i sell so I don't want it to just be blank so it's like technically since these ones the only thing that's really missing is a TikTok thing I still could pass them out if I got past you know this but I don't like that like I like it to say what it is so people can know like oh I love this type of, I like this is my style like you know like so anyways um that's that so these were like a bus so I emailed Canva was like I don't like this and they're like okay well we will have them you can either get them reprinted with fedex or you can um get a refund i'm just like i get a refund because at first i was just going to have canva just print them and just say i'm just not going to pass them out this weekend whatever but then i'm like no girl you really need to pass these out so i'm like okay forget it i will have canva print them but I just had them printed at a different FedEx. And this one is like, they have everything on it, but the quality is just not there. Like, I just feel like the quality is just like, I feel like the other FedEx had a little bit better quality when it came to like the printing. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, it's not horrible, but I feel like, like it just could be better. So, I don't know. So I was, I was debating, should I? ask Canva to, uh, for another refund and then just again do a printer with Canva again or should I just pass these out and just going forward um, always only use Canva because um, yeah because I don't know I just don't really like the quality it's mainly like the pictures on the back like the smaller pictures where it just looks like cheap quality and I want it to look good like this is me tr introducing if somebody sees this flyer this is this is like gonna be their first representation of my brand and so I want them to look at it and be like oh snap like you know this looks like somewhere I would shop and not just throw it out I want them to at least either go to the website and check it out right away or want to save it for later because they were intrigued and if I feel like that the pictures look bad they're not really gonna get to see the full potential of like what the style is like it looks like I just printed them at home like I don't want the at home printed quality I want the I had these professionally made quality you know but yeah I think I'm still I am just gonna keep them because I don't want to have to go through the whole you know refund again 
like I don't have to keep doing all that. So I'm just gonna ha I'm just gonna have just keep them. So I printed a hundred. So I have fifty of each design. So like I said, there's two different designs. Um, where did it go? I had another thing. There's two different designs, and I had um, fifty of each design printed. So yeah, so that's that. So I want to pass these out this weekend, and then. So I went and got these picked up yesterday. I also went to Ulta yesterday, so let me just do a little Ulta haul. I got some goodies. I went in there for one thing, and I was spending sixty-six dollars. Like, why? Why? But, anyways, so what I got was oh shit. I got a new um, fifty foundation. This is why it cost so much because I initially went in there just to get. Uh, eyebrow pencil well, I was gonna get two because I ran out of my eyebrow pencil this is my favorite eyebrow pencil you see my eyebrows look pretty good so I ran out of my eyebrow pencil so I was like these are only six dollars so I'm like why did I only buy one I should just buy two so when I run out I can have a backup and then I can go buy another two while I'm using that one you know it gives me time versus just being out and now I'm just out so I bought two and these were only six dollars so I'm thinking I'm only gonna spend twelve dollars but then I'm like Oh, I really need some new Fenty foundation. So let me just check real quick. I really need some more um, foundation. Like this is literally the only foundation that looks perfect for me because you know I'm black. So it's hard for us dark skin black girls to find foundation shades that work for us without having to buy like six different shades. Like. It's like ridiculous that um, dark skinned women, we have to, to try to find a shade that match. We have to be buying, mixing two and three shades. And it's like, these are expensive. Who want to spend $40 or $80, $90 on foundation because you had to buy so many colors to get your perfect shade. And now you up here playing chemist, trying to get the right concoction to make sure you have your shade. Anybody got time for that? But my good sis Riri, she had her backs and she came out with, y'all know, her Fenty foundation. So um, this is a foundation that I use all the time. And I've been out for a while when I've been mixing and matching. Like, it just ain't been matching. Like, I've just been mixing and it just ain't been looking right. Like, it just comes out too orange or, like, too gray. Like, I don't have time for that. So I'm like, girl, you here? They sell Fenty at Ulta now. Get you some Fenty foundation. So, and it's not that expensive. I mean, it's thirty eight dollars. So that's still kind of a lot. I mean, I don't know, child. I was sad when I saw that sixty six dollars. I'm like, oh, this cause that foundation on there. But some foundations be like fifty fifty dollars. So under forty is still not that bad. And it lasts a long time. Well, it lasts a long time for me because I don't do my found, I don't do my makeup all the time. Like I maybe do it once a week if I do it on the weekends. If I'm trying to film a, make some TikTok or something like that but I really don't do my makeup that much so it usually lasts pretty long for me and then I got a new concealer uh, or read up on this concealer this is the makeup revolution concealer I really like this concealer I really like the Tarte shape tape but what I'm trying to I don't think I have that much left where is it I don't even know where it's at but I don't think I have that much of the Tarte shape tape left and so I got this. I use this when I don't want to use like the shade tape. Like if I feel like I'm really finna make like a YouTube video or like I really, really want my makeup to be like flawless, flawless, I use the shape tape. But y'all know that's expensive too. So if I'm just like, oh, I'm finna just make three or four TikToks, like I don't need the shape tape. Like this, I just use this one. Um, and this is like, actually this was like on sale. I think this was like $2. This was real cheap. Yeah. I don't know why this was um, on sale. Um... Cause it didn't even say it was on sale until she rang it out. So this was two dollars and was it? No, this was three dollars and sixty-four cents. It's normally seven dollars, but even at seven dollars, that's not bad for some concealer. And like I said, I really like this concealer, so I use this like if I'm just you know everyday makeup, I would use this. And then I got a this is a brow pomade. This is from Ulta. I never tried this one before, but I do have like the Anastasia. Um, the Anastasia dip brow so this is what I was using those days where like um, when I didn't have my makeup brush but this was expensive so I didn't really want to use this up so I'm like let me I saw this was only $10 so I'm like oh I can use this so if I ever do run out of pencil for whatever reason and I just didn't have the time to go make one I mean to go get one I can use this and it's like cheaper instead of using the Anastasia one because that one was more expensive like I don't know why I'm trying to save it like I don't even do my makeup that much so what you saving it for girl but I am because it was expensive 
expensive so this was only ten dollars and i never used this before but yeah i still got it because it's just like why not it's only ten dollars so i got that so that was all that i got from ulta and then my total was 66 dollars. i did have the the coupon you know they be always be having the coupon the um fifth or is it three dollars off or fifteen dollars so i did get to use the coupon so yeah that was that was my little auto purchase from yesterday um and so yeah so now that was 12 minutes oh i also got some nails i'm gonna do my nails i think in my last video i showed y'all well if y'all watched my last video before this would have been a um what video was that it was me getting ready for it was a maintenance video on a budget and y'all know I, I bragged about those other nails i had on I said that was gonna last me three weeks don't wear these if you don't want to wear them for three weeks and that was a week ago and they're already off <laughs> i don't know why they didn't last this long but i'm kind of happy that they did like they were really easy for me to like pop off like they they weren't so easy to the point where they just like popped off like i still had to work but usually if i try to take them off like with before two weeks they are like literally like hurt so bad but they didn't really hurt like i was able to like dig underneath them and just pop them off um but i was happy because child i haven't had long nails like that in a while and i just felt like i just couldn't do anything with the long nails so i'm like i need to go back to my shorties and y'all know i love me a good fresh tip so i bought these from walmart yesterday um and yeah so i'm gonna probably put these on a little bit later but yeah i don't really know like what i want to do today because um I kept saying that I really wanted to go to a coffee shop to do some work because I just don't really be feeling motivated like when I'm in the house like I don't feel motivated so I wanted to go to a coffee shop to work and so I found some online like I just googled some coffee shops near me and like the pictures look okay nothing I didn't want to go to a Starbucks or anything I was looking for like just maybe something other than Starbucks and so I found two possible options that are close to me they're like on 4th Street and I live on like 10th 11th street so it's really like up the street so i'm trying to decide don't want to walk because technically like down there it's considered downtown long beach so it's like nowhere to park or if it is parking it's like two hour parking or 30 minute parking so i'm like do i want to drive all the way over there and then there's nowhere to park or i only got two hours like i don't want to feel rushed like what if i'm really into it and i want to stay for three hours like who knows you know um so i was thinking maybe i could walk because it'll be only like a 15 minute walk but then again i'm like do i really want to walk because i've never been there before so on like the pictures online like they have seating but who knows when you go when you go there like what it, what's the vibe going to be like am i going to go in there and feel like get like a good vibe and want to work or if i'm going to go in there and get like a bad table so it's like i don't even want to work they don't even have plugs it's cold in here it's hot in here like you know but then i just walked for 15 minutes and now i don't even like like it so i need to walk back for 15 minutes so i don't know I don't know but i know i really just don't want to work in the house like i just have not been feeling motivated to work in the house and i really want to just find somewhere to work and just work for like six or seven hours like and just get a crap ton of stuff done but i need to be comfortable so i'm not sure and i don't want to sit on the balcony because i just want to be like i was thinking of sitting on the balcony but they're doing construction across the street as y'all know and then it'd be bugs out there and so i just don't want to have to deal with that and there's like a little seating area like um in my building like on the first floor so i was trying to decide that i want to just go down there and like sit down there um because i do see people like down there working sometimes with their laptops i'm like don't want to just take my laptop down there and then at least i'm in my building so if i'm thirsty or if i gotta pee i can just grab my stuff and come back to you know i can just come back upstairs you know so i'm not sure really what i'm gonna do but i know the first thing i'm about to do is i need energy and i'm trying to do keto again so i'm like i don't want to go too far and then i don't have any keto food so i don't know i think i'm probably gonna end up just working in the house even though i don't want to but i don't know the first thing first though is we're about to run to cbs because i want to get a celsius like i need some caffeine and so i think i'm gonna get a celsius because i don't feel like driving all the way to duncan to get a coffee so i'm gonna get a celsius probably get two like one for today one for tomorrow or i might go to 7-eleven and get some monsters sometimes they be having a deal where it's like three for six so that will be better hmm i don't know but let's roll out i'm outside in an amg right outside tt two-turn baby girl you know me still with the dolls that i grew beside all the niggas brown me i and a guy gotta watch the time because it's flying right in an AMG, right outside, DT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, oh my, all the niggas around me, ride or they die, gotta watch the time, cause it's fine right now, 
body off a fame star Just the one I'm ready, it's a pressure Way that I've been living, I'm conventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun and fresh I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I'd rather see my heart turn to gold Rather see my heart turn crystal Inside a crib on my own Soon as I free up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me Riding and dying Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Outside in it. Alright, look guys, y'all just want me setting up my new monitor. So I got this monitor. Um, I told y'all earlier that I had I ordered the um Mac Studio, which is just I put a picture of it on the screen, but it's literally it's like just the hard drive part of the Mac. It's not like the all in one where you know you like it's all just one thing. It's just a hard drive, so you still have to buy your own monitors. And so here is the monitor that I have. So it's still good. It's still like a Mac computer. It's just not a Mac monitor, you know. So here is the monitor. I got the monitor now, even though the computer doesn't come until the middle of April. Um, not middle of April. Middle of August. So, but yeah. So I just set up the monitor right now. I just have it hooked up to my laptop, so I can have a bigger screen for now. And then I have. On um, my keyboard, so I have all these cables because it's hooked up. Um, it's hooked up to my laptop, like I said, and then my tablet is there. But yeah, quick little desk tour. This desk is kind of dirty. All this stuff is like glue, like eyelash glue. <laughs> um, quick little desk tours. Nothing special, honestly. I feel like I need to go on Amazon to get some cool little gadgets, cool little desk stuff, but I probably won't get anything special, special for my desk until next year whenever we move into like a house and I actually am out of like the living room because right now, like as y'all know, like my desk is in the living room. So once I have an actual official room, office room, then I will have like, you know, spruce it up with the nice desk stuff. But for now, this is a little desk tour. It's just my monitor, the laptop, I mean the uh, keyboard, laptop, mouse, and then my, um, what is this thing, iPad. And then I have my vision board right here on my desk. And then I have my YouTube plaques. This is my $100,000, my 100,000 subscriber one and my million one. So these are just here for motivation because um, I'm manifesting that I'm going to get the real ones. And then I will switch them out with the real ones. But yeah, so this is nice little desk tour. But yeah. But yeah, I'm super, ignore that stuff on the background. That's just, sorry. <laughs> turn it this way. So yeah, so I'm super excited that I have a, let me turn this light on, that I have a um, monitor now. So now when I'm working, I can have like a bigger screen. I don't have to look at my little laptop anymore. So that's super exciting. And then once I get my um, desktop, that'll be even more exciting because that's what I will be able to like really edit the videos a little bit better because I'll be able to download like I said earlier a better software and then hopefully by the end of the year or by like early next year I will get a camera because that's what I'm saving for right now is to be able to buy a camera and then once I buy a camera it's on and popping okay I'll be filming everything but yeah so that's that uh, super excited it took a little minute to figure out how to set up the um the monitor but we got it and it looks so good i'm super happy so right now what i'm about to do is 
Uh, I'm actually, obviously, as y'all 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 saw, I didn't pass on any flyers today. I don't think I'm going to pass on any flyers today. It's already like 4:17. Like I'm really kind of like hot and like sticky. I really want to shower because I've been like running around and stuff. So, but what I'm about to do now is I'm about to take Pepper outside. Um, take him across the street. It's a little bit of grassy area. So hopefully if there's no other dogs or homeless people sleeping out there, I will let him run around and play for a little bit. Let him use the bathroom and then I will come back in here and get to work because I need to start prepping for the week. I haven't really, well, I haven't done any work at all today. So I really need to work. My lips are so chapped. So let me, uh, Put on my lip gloss. This is from Butterfly Butterfly Cosmetics. Um, also, my lashes are from there too. If y'all watched my last video, I showed them. These are um, Butterfly Wings lashes. Uh, I put the I put it in the uh, description box, the website where I get it from. But I love this lip gloss, and my lips is so like dry. So definitely need it. Where you at, Pepper? But yeah, all right, y'all. I'm about to go outside and then we're gonna get to work. Get your toy, Baba. Let me see. Get your toy. Come on, Baba. Yeah. Yeah. Just annoying me And I'm too about it And the dark baby blue on my name I'm so old and I grew up about it Got me out of big eye Which I don't do about it Be it real, keep rolling, rolling Outside, 29, G5, C5 I've been losing the rest of my peace But honestly, it sounds like a bad trick to me Like I don't hurt one and I'm still here Outside Busy body, baby, if you want me, then I'm turning up with everybody No, I'm just if you fucking know it's anybody Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it Yeah, I'm a used to be on disability They need disability, and now she want me with her head high It's a bad trick, I don't think you're feeling me I'm out here with me, and everything they said I wouldn't be It wouldn't be, I don't know what happened to them guys that said they wouldn't be So, um, time check, it is 9.59 and I just finished um, planning out all of the Instagram posts for uh, the week. So, yeah, so I really want to do the captions and um, the captions and the stories next. Sorry y'all look crazy, but... It is what it is. But I right, like I said, I want to do the cap. I mean, I want to do the captions and the um, possibly start working on the story posts. I'm kind of tired, but I really want to try to stay up to at least midnight. So that's two more hours. So I think I'm just gonna do like two little power hours. So like from one hour from 10 to 11, I would just focus on just writing captions, getting the hashtags done for as many posts as I can. And then from 11 to 12, I will work on preparing as many stories as I can. So at least if I can do like um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that will be good. And then I could always do like the rest later in the week. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So I will check back in with y'all. It's 10 o'clock now. I'll check back in at 11 to show y'all my progress. All right, guys. So a time check. It is 11.36. So I did work on um, 
doing captions um uh, but then i got tired of that so now what i'm gonna do is edit a video um because i haven't posted a video in forever and it's mainly because i haven't edited anything like i have like i said three videos filmed i just need to have the time to edit them but it's just such a hassle editing the way i've been editing like i already told y'all that this morning da -da. but once i get my um once i get my actual computer i just know it's going to be so much easier for me to edit like i'm going to be able to have because right now hold on let me flip the camera around okay right now my biggest problem is that i can only edit like one video at a time and the video takes up so much space on my computer so i can't like just put it on there until like i'm actually ready to set, ready to edit or else i won't be able to do anything else um like you know and then i can't like for some, whenever I try to edit a video, I can't export it um, unless like I can't use my computer while it's exporting. So I usually try to edit my videos and then at the end of the night, I will have it export to my external hard drive. And then for my external hard drive, I will upload it to YouTube. But like I said, it's just such a hassle. I can only do one video at a time. So that takes all day. Like it would be better if I could like edit all my videos at once and like have it sitting on my computer because then each night I can just have one different one exporting you know at night or whatever or throughout the day if it's already been edited but I usually try not to edit a video unless I know I'm gonna have the time to export it and all of that because I can't just have the files sitting on the computer like that just takes up too much space because I don't have that much space on my laptop because my laptop is like three years old and when I initially bought the laptop I just bought the smallest space because three years ago I wasn't thinking nothing about YouTube or none of that stuff like I just bought the laptop from for me to get my master's degree so I can have a computer for that but yeah so I know I've been making it work you know and I'll continue to make it work until my actual computer comes and then everything will be so much better I just know it because then I will be able to just as the videos as I film I can just download them like I have more space I know I will have more space on my actual computer so I can just download them right away and then um, put them on my hard drive I don't have to worry about oh I have to delete this video oh I can only download like right now I have another video um, ready like I could be having my other video uploaded I mean downloading while I'm editing this video just so it can be like you know but I don't have enough space so I can't do that right now like I literally have to finish this whole entire video do the whole export to YouTube phase delete all the footage off of this computer wait for the the laptop to recalculate to realize that I deleted all this footage so now I have storage and then start all over again so yeah but I'm back getting back on track so yeah because this video I'm about to upload now is a freaking Ju July my July goals I filmed this video like July 1st and it was supposed to have been up and it's July 16th and I know last time when I put my June goals video I put that go that video out halfway through the month too and I'm just like Ugh. that's why I filmed this video so early because it's like I didn't want to like put a goals video out at the end of the month like no like what the hell but it's still gonna go up because I'm not gonna just say well I'm not gonna put it up because it's halfway through July like I, I ain't hitting that one goal so I'm still gonna put it up okay because it's July still here okay so um yeah hopefully you guys watch that video hopefully you guys have watched my videos I appreciate everyone that continues to watch my videos and support me and that sticks around for the journey we are growing I'm really trying to get monetized by the end of this year so if you have not already please like and subscribe please share this video with all of your friends and I appreciate you leave me a comment down below let me know girl how's everything going I missed y'all well by the time y'all see this video I would have already had two videos ahead of that so let me know how y'all like those videos and yeah I will catch y'all in my next one peace out